Hi folks, welcome. Uh, lovely to see you again uh, on this Saturday. Um, hope all is well with you. As always, we're just going to um, give folks a, a chance to, to join us. Um, I'll leave a few moments for that. Of course, tomorrow we'll be back here at 11 o'clock in the morning for our uh, service, our Sunday service. Really hope that you can join us for that. Um, should be a good time. Um, yeah, just uh, we'll just wait a few more moments. As always, uh, please uh, use this time to um, prepare your hearts and your minds and your spirit and your body to come before the Lord in prayer, quieting down in the middle of the day. To say that for me. This is giving a wonderful rhythm to the day. I take time to, uh, to pause in this way. I wonder if you also spend time in the morning or the evening in prayer. Um, some daily devotions where you lift things to the Lord at one point and perhaps another time. Uh, but this pausing and giving thanks for the day and asking the Lord's blessing in the day to come rhythms to have, and the church has had them for many, many years. Well, I think we're probably coming to the point where most folks will have joined us. So why don't we take just a few moments of quiet silence uh, as we prepare for our time together. Let's just Peace of Christ be with us all, we say together. Through the Holy Spirit he has given us, God's love has flooded our hearts. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sow righteousness for yourselves, reap the fruit of unfailing love. Break up your unploughed ground. For it is time to seek the Lord until he comes and rains righteousness upon us. Today's psalm, uh, as we read through them with their comfort and their challenge, is uh, Psalm 34. Psalm 34. It's titled of David when he pretended to be insane before Abimelech, who drove him away and he left. I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. My soul will boast in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him. He saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed are those who take refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you his saints, for those who fear him lack nothing. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, my children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Whoever among you loves life and desires to see many good days, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking lies. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to cut off the memory of them from the earth. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. The righteous may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers them from them all. He protects all their bones. Not one of them will be broken. Evil will slay the wicked. The foes of the righteous will be condemned. 
The Lord redeems his servant. No one will be condemned who takes refuge in him. Amen. Shall we say together the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. And we continue our readings through the Gospel of Mark. And we're in Mark chapter 10 and reading from verse 46. Then they came to Jericho. As Jesus and his disciples, together with a large crowd, were leaving the city, a blind man, Bartimaeus, that is the son of Timaeus, was sitting by the roadside begging. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and said, call him. So they called to the blind man, cheer up on your feet, he's calling you. Throwing his cloak aside, he jumped to his feet and came to Jesus. What do you want me to do for you? Jesus asked him. The blind man said, Rabbi, I want to see. Go, said Jesus. Your faith has healed you. Immediately, he received his sight and followed Jesus along the road. Amen. This is the word of God. And so we turn to pray together and at the end of this first part of the prayer there'll be a time of silence in which we can lift before the Lord those things which are close to our hearts and which the Lord has laid upon our hearts. But shall we pray together? Promise keeping God. As you surprised and amazed the disciples of Jesus, by pouring out your Spirit upon them at Pentecost. Fill our lives and hearts with the Holy Spirit, that we might keep in step with the Spirit, to pray and act according to your will. When we do not know what to pray, inspire and empower our prayers. In Jesus' name. We pray together in silence. We continue together. Life giving Spirit, Comforter and Counselor, lead us into all truth so that in times of trial we might trust in God's Word and empower us to live as faithful witnesses of Jesus so that by prayer and action we might bring comfort to others and lead them to Christ, in whom alone is life. And hope. Amen. Out of his glorious riches, may God strengthen us with power through his Spirit in our inner beings, so that Christ may dwell in our hearts through faith. Being rooted and established in love, may we have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, 
and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that we may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. The power of the Holy Spirit fill us afresh today. May the love of the Father enfold us, the wisdom of the Son enlighten us, the fire of the Spirit inflame us, and may the blessing of God rest upon us today and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Thanks, folks. Um, I hope you can join us tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock uh, here, both on YouTube and on the phone-in service. Um, but until then, uh, stay safe and God bless you. Thanks, folks.